Hello, horror fans, and welcome to Poppy Playtime, uh, a game that I've seen the trailer of and about five minutes of gameplay and needed a change of pants. Absolutely terrifying game, but I, I'm determined to play it. Give it a shot. Awesome. For those of you who celebrated or even or just know about it, happy Halloween, happy Spooktober, happy Orktober to my 40k fans. And without further ado, let's get right into it. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Hey. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Oh. Oh. Gotta say, not a fan. <laughs> that is fucking terrifying. I mm, no. I would be a hor. Oh, everyone with things that snap disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay. Sure. See, I would be a horrible parent if I let my child play with something like that. I'm also really fucking terrified of like glass head dolls. Ugh, fucking scary shit. I hate it. Scary. Spoop. Okay, already I really do not like this. Okay. Can't go through there. Uh, oh, okay. Let's have to view items. That's alright. You lied to me. Oh, item. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> Security gift shop. Oh boy! I want to go to the gift shop. So, ooh. Ooh. That's not good. I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, Huggy is out of their box. That's not good. Uh, okay, so I don't think there's anything here for me. Let me check security. But yeah, as I was saying before the um, uh, opening came through, is uh, I'm playing this because I'm very excited for Security Breach FNAF. Because uh, it's, I don't know, it's just finally a free roam horror game like that. Uh, it's just, whew. free roam Five Nights at Freddy's is something I've wanted for a very long time. So, expect me to play that when it comes out, hopefully. Hi, ah, okay. my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation Hello. here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, ah. trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, mm. this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And uh -oh. that's one of the more tame 
aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Um. Well, now since you say that, see ya. I'm out. Bye. Um. All right, I cannot leave, unfortunately. Shit. Why is there a baby head and arm here and like a frag grenade or something? No. So my game theory is the colors on the keypad at the security thing are the colors on this. Uh, so let me try that. Could be wrong, which I probably am. So it's like, No. Okay. Green, pink, yellow, red. Fucking gamer brain. Seems legit. Only fire at small objects and handles. Okay, can I get that or what? D oh. <laughs> Wire is conductive, used for rewind. Oh. Interesting. That's a cool little tutorial, actually. Uh, is that gonna open now? That would be nice. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's only, it's only one. Gonna slap a bitch. Ah, all right. Ah. Game don't break, please. Oh. oh, hi. You look beautiful. With a hint of absolutely fucking terrifying. Ah. Hi, hi, buddy. That. That's. What are you grabbing on to? Okay. Um. Huggy Wuggy. That is string and polyester are lovable blue pal. Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best selling toy so far. Huggy is terrifying. Yeah. Fuck you. Gonna do it again. Yeah, bitch. Alright, what happens if I press this? I'm gonna walk away from that, thank you. Okay. Um. Alright. Man, these fucking puzzle horror games. I'm probably just being, like, very stupid. Maybe if I shake the door long enough, it'll break open and I can get through. What did I do? What do I do? What's going on? Oh. Did you have a key there before? Okay. I just stole your property. That's nice. Uh, I thought you were looking at me for a second. I don't like that. Kind others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare late Pierre. Stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation wing without authorization. I've broken several of those rules. I think the only one I haven't broken is misuse company time. Or tamper with machinery. I haven't done that yet. I stole a mother key, but... Ah, interesting. So, where do I bring this? Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huggy. Buddy. is clenched super tight. 
Okay. Make a friend. Yay, I can finally have one. Oh. Hi. Uh. Hello? I don't want to go in there. Oh, Lord, why? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, I'm not scared. Run! Why did I decide to play this? <laughs> why did I spend money on this? I hate myself. Oh, well, maybe if I gave him a high five at the start, he'll consider not killing me. That'll be wonderful. Oh, this is this looks amazing. This looks great. Ah, okay, so that's what I do with that. All's good. All's fine. I'm okay. I'm not scared. I'm absolutely terrified. That is a lie. Ooh. VHS. Yes. Okay. I've been playing some very slow-paced horror games, but now I decided to jump right into shit like this. I have a bit of an issue. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes. Rich, oh, you're right. You're right. It's it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. I'm going to leave those VHS things in uh, the video if you want to know about the lore. But, um, you can skip them if you want. Alright, now I have number two, it seems. Great, now I can give Huggy a... Now I can give Huggy a double high five before he kills me. Yay! What's behind door number five? Oh boy. I am so excited. I fucking hate this. Okay. Okay. It's all good, all right, all right, it's fine, don't worry about it. Why am I going, where am I going? Where am I going, where are you taking me, or am I gonna die? I don't know, I don't know, and probably yes. I right, no, I'm just, just keep going. Just keep going, everything is fine. Everything's fine, I don't know. Oh. Is this where all the rejects go? Is that why I'm here? I'm a reject? That sign can't stop. Nobody leaves without a toy. Then where can I get one? I want a toy. I want something to hold on to. Before Huggy Wuggy rips my arms off. Ooh. Tape. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Watch the tape. Watch the tape. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Stella! When I was young, was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because 
adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult, but your body just gets older and older, and then you die. That's Ooh. grim. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Okay, Stella is fucking weird. <laughs> Stella is behind it all. Try that. Yeah, dude. That, that's it, right? It's on, right? Yeah, it's on. Let's go. I am amazed, bulls. How are on? Hi. Oh, you're looking at me. You are looking at me. I do not like that. What is that? Dispense. Body. Head. Or what? I don't, I don't know. There's shit's happening. Ah, that's the head. Okay. So, I guess we wait for all of that to go through. And then I can leave because I have a toy and I am special. <gasps> I'm getting a tiger thing and whatever. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, it's a symbol. Oh my god. I can't wait. I can't wait to have my toy. Give me my toy. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I look so cute. Uh, it's so cute! I want it! Give it to me! Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I am happy. I have toy. I can leave. So is this like a prison for children, actually? I don't like that. I very much do not like that. I gotta rethink some life choices here. Hey! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy fucking shit. You stay over there, buddy. You, you, you stay right there. Oh my god, what the fuck. Oh my god, what? What do I do? What do I do? Oh fucking shit, Christ. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he's after me. Stop! <laughs> no, 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 get the fuck away from me! Fuck you! Oh my god, please, no, get away from me. You are ugly, stinky, poopy. Get up! What the fuck? Oh my god, fuck. Shit, damn. Fuck. Oh my god, he's right behind me. Holy fuck, no. Fuck. <laughs> Where do I go? Where? Go! Fuck! Oh my god! Keep running! What are you doing? Go! Fuck! Why is everything in slow motion? Holy shit!
<laughs> Who ah? Fuck you. Oh my god. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, that was mildly terrifying. I fucking hated that with every fiber of my body. <sighs> Yikes. Ooh. VHS. Yay. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... For science? Okay. Uh, there's some bad shit happening in this factory here. I don't suppose there's anything else for me to check out, so I guess I'll just make my way here. No, stop, go back, turn around, no, run, danger. That sign won't stop me because I can read. Whoop. I like how I'm less terrified of this compared to like all the other shit that I've dealt with in this game. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Well, in game you're actually kind of pretty, and probably you're probably gonna kill me if I let you out of this case. Isn't that fun? Oh hi. You opened my case. Is that bad? Is that bad? <laughs> Fucking shit. That was terrifying. That was nightmare fuel. That was hell incarnate. But it was amazing. Absolutely phenomenal horror game. I I love it when people can turn something like this. Like something kid friendly and innocent into just nightmare fuel. It is amazing. And if there's anything I've noticed from horror games, I hate running away from things. It's just, I hate the tension that I know something's behind me and like, I want to turn around, but it's just, I got to keep moving forward and I don't know if I'm going to stop for a split second and I'm going to get jump scared. Fuck, that was stressful, but on a, uh, Poppy Playtime, oh my god, it is, it's amazing. <laughs> Pro, uh, like, really, really good horror game. And anyway, that, that's gonna, that's, I'm gonna wrap it up here, but, <sighs> Fucking goddamn, that was terrifying. But anyway, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, not well. It's not like I can really play anything anyway because I don't think there's a chapter two yet. But that was great. I, I'll leave a link to it to the Steam store down below so you can check it out for yourself. Play it. I would really recommend supporting the creators because I would love to see more of this game. And it was surprisingly short, but, like, it worked. It was a short chapter, and it really worked. I hope the other ones are longer, but even if they're just as long, I, they, I, I'd love that for them to keep up the horror element of that. Well, obviously, it's not like they're going to turn into, like, a fucking Doom first-person shooter or anything. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Halloween. Please consider subscribing, it would really mean a lot to me, I would really appreciate the support, and it would give me a bit more um, an inspiration, so to speak, to continue doing these horror games. I have a few still lined up, even though it's no longer going to be Halloween, I'd still love to play horror games, but anyway, thank you, 
I'll see all you horror fans in the next one.